Hello to all my Libras. I hope that all of you guys have been doing well, my fellow Libras. Yes, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Cherica, aka Dark Moon Diva. This is your end of, end of January kind of random reading. Um, it is your sensual reading, okay? So we're kind of tapping into your significant other's secret desires, hidden emotions, um, and what the future has in store between the two of you guys. So let's go ahead and hop into things. All right, if you would like a private or personal reading, click down in the description box below. My website is listed as well as my Instant Go. Okay, you can connect with me through Instant Go by texting me through that app. You can call me through that app. You can order readings or you can even schedule a reading. Just send me a message and we can schedule one for you if you would like a, a 30 minute reading or a one hour personalized reading. Okay, I'm going to start offering these essential readings through my Instant Go app. So yeah, definitely follow me on that app. All right, let's hop into things. Spirit, what does Libra significant other secretly desire? Um, what are Libra significant others secret emotions in regards to or towards um, Libra? And what does the future have in store for Libra as well, Spirit? Okay, so these are your cards, Libra. Libra. So I'm going to move these cards out of the way. Give me one moment while I clarify your cards and tap into the overall energy of your reading. Let's see here. Spirit, what's the overall energy for Libra's significant other in the reading as a whole? flipped over measurement all right Spirit, please clarify the queen of cups and the five of staves the nine of cups the eight of staves the prince of the princess of principles of the spirit Let's clarify these cards for me. Okay. Okay. All right, Libra. Okay, so your significant other's emotions. Let's go ahead and start off with their emotions in regards to you, how they feel about you, Libra. Your significant other is definitely dealing with some mixed emotions and a level of confusion. There's clearly a level of confusion that's, that's present, okay? Um, we have the five of staves, so there is some competition, some disagreements, or maybe even some arguments between the two of you. Um, clearly your significant other is beginning to see something. Your significant other is beginning to be aware of, um, maybe the competition or the arguments or the battles within the relationship. They're seeing something more clear. They're seeing maybe problems or trouble ahead or trouble in the past. They're beginning to see a pattern possibly, or maybe they're beginning to see, um, something either within themselves or within you that they they may not like or may not agree with here. 
However, um, I feel like your significant other is wanting new beginnings with you. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that's wanting new beginnings, but internally they feel conflicted a bit, okay? Um, it may be some challenges when it comes to getting the relationship off the ground or getting the communication off of the ground, um, but you're, it's, it, clearly your significant other, again, is dealing with a level of confusion, okay? It seems like there's highs and lows. They may be dealing with some financial instability, some highs and lows within their finances, but I feel like this is more so, you know, being confused than anything else, okay? It's like, you know, how do I get this, this relationship off the ground? How do I get this communication off the ground? How do I start all over with Libra? I'm unsure how to start all over. This is a challenge, and it could be because, Libra, you're not letting this person in. You're not letting them in mentally, emotionally, and possibly not even physically is the, what I'm sensing here, okay? You may have this person at a distance. There's some confusion on how to get in, how, whether or not the relationship will work or not, because there may have been some ups and downs, highs and lows within the relationship, which may be creating confusion. A lot of you guys are dealing with water signs, so I'm looking at, I'm getting a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy this, this very significant. Um, there's some earth energy and fire energy as well, but mainly earth energy and water energy is what I'm sensing here. If you're dealing with an earth sign, they're dealing with some confusion. If you're dealing with a water sign, it seems like they want to take a leap of faith. However, there are some challenges with either either or sign, okay? we The overall energy is measurement. So I feel like somebody is calculating, okay? Maybe they are um, trying to figure out a date. Maybe they're trying to figure out a time. Maybe they're um, at a distance, okay, with a measurement card. But I feel like someone is calculating, okay? Um, it could be, you know... Well, you did this this many times, or you did that, or you didn't do it enough. That sort of energy is what I'm kind of getting a little bit with the measurement. Um, it could also represent that someone is keeping someone at a distance, okay? Which could be causing or creating some tension within the relationship here. All right, what I'm sensing in the future, we have the oppression card, we have the four of swords, and then we have the nine of cups, okay? It feels like somebody is looking at the future. They're looking at their... Um, fulfillment, you know, the happiness that they are either expecting, um, intending, or um, wanting to gain within their life, okay? And, and, it, and it feels like they're, they're dealing with all these negative thoughts, these negative thoughts, these negative thoughts. This could be you, Libra, or it could be your significant other that's dealing with these negative thoughts. And I feel like you're really trying your best to close out either negative people, they may be saying negative things or these negative thoughts that may be trying to attack you, your mental, okay? Spirit is saying that you need to get lots of rest. And um, I feel like you may be just taking some time out for yourself in the future to really kind of get your mind together, all right? I, I feel like you're going through a difficult time mentally. Lots of thinking, overthinking, Libra, okay? So just take out some time to kind of take some time to yourself to meditate your mind, to release any type of stress. You know, we're deep thinkers. So just take some time out every day in these last couple of days in the beginning of the month to kind of release any mental tension that may be building up within or negative thoughts. Okay. Get to doing your spiritual cleansing baths and things of that nature so that you can release any negative you know, people or any negative energy that may be surrounding you, okay? If you're dealing with negative people that may be saying negative things when it comes to like these dreams or, you know, whatever's going on in your relationship, you need to get these people out of your ear, okay? So another thing that I'm seeing here is you being strong in the future. I see you having a level of inner strength, but I feel like you have your back turned away from someone, Libra. I do feel like there's going to be some communication that's going to be coming in very soon um, in regards to new beginnings, okay? I do feel like there's going to be a sense of peace. I do see a fire sign and an earth sign that's um, going to be making some sort of offer towards you, giving you a gift or, you know, showing a level of appreciation or, you know, showing appreciation to you in some kind of way. I feel like there may be, it could be a peace offer of some kind, okay? I do feel like this is the person that you're dealing with, okay? But it's going to bring a sense of peace and harmony to you. I see mental stability, being you, you being more mentally grounded in your relationship, being grounded in the near future towards the end of January, beginning of February, okay? Some of you guys are pregnant and we have the fertility card 
or you may become pregnant. We have the fertility card and then we have the 10 of pentacles. So I do see financial abundance, security, prosperity, and I feel like your relationship, there may be an opportunity for reconciliation if you're separated from your significant other. If you're having some issues just within your relationship, I do feel like there's gonna be balance and a sense of peace. And um, I feel like things are gonna be coming together for you towards the end of the month, the beginning of the month. I feel like there's definitely going to be a sense of peace and the energies are going to be more grounded during that time. I'm seeing positive energy coming in and again, Prosperity and abundance. Prosperity and abundance, Libra. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey. I'll take that. I'll be a Libra. I'll be a Libra for that time. Hit <laughs> set for that time. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop into the central aspects of your reading, which your significant other secretly desires behind closed doors, Libra. What does a Libra significant other secretly desire behind closed doors? Let's see here, three, two. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Okay, positions kind of all over the place. So you have a three of swords. So somebody is experiencing some heartbreak, but they're. You know, the masculine energy is really taking control in this one. And like rubbing the woman's breast, like, you know, like, ooh, give me them titties, girl. No. <laughs> but no, take, take, you know, a look at the, the positions. The masculine energy is really taking control. I feel like the masculine energy has been heartbroken and is wanting to, like, or I don't know, just masculine energy is really wanting to please in this card, okay? on a rainy night too so if you live in an in a, in a rainy environment that this card might be for you Ooh. we have the six of sex wands okay so if you live near the beach you know southern areas all the way from you know florida georgia area all the way to california i'm sensing that this card might be for you the six of sex wands all right sex on the beach Feminine energy really taking control of the masculine energy here. Ride and reverse cowgirl, okay. That might be your significant other's secret desire and favorite position. Then we have the seven of testicles where the man is kind of tilting her upwards. Masculine energy taking full control of the feminine energy here, okay. So yeah, it looks like somebody's either doing it in the, in the park, the forest, the backyard, but it's really green and grassy. Okay, so hmm, yeah, take note of these positions, Libra. All right, let's go ahead and get some spiritual guidance in regards to your reading. Spirit, give my Libra some spiritual guidance in regards to their reading, in regards to their relationship. Let's see here, three, two. All right. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. All right? Okay. Hmm. Remember when I stated in the beginning that um, I'm getting this energy from Libra, Libra that you're not letting someone in? If you know that you're projecting that energy, you may be actually attracting that energy. So just remember that when you're loving, you're... You're projecting that loving energy. That's what you're usually going to attract. So be aware of what it is that you're projecting, okay? Just be aware of what it is, the energy that you're, pro you're projecting, all right? And don't allow this negative energy to come in, those negative thoughts, that negative energy. Remember, Libra, spiritual cleanse, spiritual cleanse, spiritual cleanse. This may be a time for you to really do some cleansing when it comes to your thoughts. Remember that your thoughts are very, it's very important to keep your thoughts positive because what you think you can attract, you will attract, all right? You'll, you'll attract that energy. So try to keep it as positive as possible, you know, okay? Work on affirmations, daily affirmations. All right, Libras, you guys stay blessed, stay well, and see you in February for your February reading. Ashe.